CVS Health, the largest pharmacy chain in the U.S., delivered a strong performance in the first quarter of 2021. The company reported earnings per share of $2.04, beating the analyst's estimate of $1.72. The revenue also surpassed the expectations, reaching $69.1 billion, up 3.5% year-over-year. The growth was driven by higher sales in the pharmacy services and retail segments, as well as increased demand for COVID-19 testing and vaccinations. However, CVS Health also lowered its full-year profit outlook, citing higher costs related to its recent acquisitions. The company expects to earn between $6.24 and $6.36 per share in 2021, down from the previous range of $7.39 to $7.55. The lower guidance reflects the impact of the Aetna Health Insurance business, which CVS Health acquired in 2018 for $69 billion. The company also said it expects to incur higher operating expenses and interest costs in the coming quarters. CVS Health CEO Karen Lynch said that the company is confident in its long-term strategy and growth potential, despite the short-term headwinds. She said that CVS Health is well-positioned to benefit from the changing healthcare landscape and the increasing demand for integrated services. She also highlighted the company's role in the COVID-19 response, saying that CVS Health has administered more than 17 million vaccine doses and performed more than 15 million tests as of May 4. One of the main drivers of CVS's strong earnings and revenue performance in the last quarter was its health services segment, which saw a remarkable growth of 12.6% compared to the previous year. This segment includes pharmacy benefit management, PBM, services, specialty pharmacy services, infusion services, and long-term care pharmacy operations. The main factor behind this growth was an increase in pharmacy claims processed, which rose by 11.1% to 548.4 million. This reflects the higher demand for prescription drugs amid the pandemic, as well as CVS's ability to leverage its network of pharmacies and clinics to serve its customers. The health services segment also benefited from favorable purchasing economics and improved generic dispensing rates. The segment contributed 47.8% to CVS's total revenue of $83.8 billion in the fourth quarter, making it the largest and most profitable segment for the company. One of the main drivers of CVS's revenue growth in the third quarter was its health insurance segment. This segment saw a 12% increase in revenue compared to the same period last year, reaching $20.8 billion. The main reason for this growth was an increase in membership, especially in Medicare Advantage plans. Medicare Advantage is a type of health insurance plan that offers more benefits and services than traditional Medicare. CVS has been expanding its presence in this market by offering more options and lower premiums to attract customers. In fact, CVS added 1.5 million Medicare Advantage members in the third quarter, which is more than any other insurer in the industry. This shows that CVS is leveraging its pharmacy and retail network to offer more value and convenience to its health insurance customers. One of the bright spots in CVS's earnings report was the strong performance of its retail segment. This segment includes the company's pharmacies, clinics, and front store sales. The retail segment saw a revenue growth of 7.8%, reaching $24.8 billion in the third quarter. This was driven by an increase in prescription volume and COVID-19 testing and vaccinations. CVS filled 509.5 million prescriptions in the quarter, up 9.6% from a year ago. The company also administered over 18 million COVID-19 tests and over 9 million COVID-19 vaccines in the quarter. These services helped boost the company's pharmacy same-store sales by 8.5% and its front-store same-store sales by 1.7%. The retail segment also benefited from higher customer traffic and basket size, as well as improved margins and lower operating expenses. One of the highlights of CVS Health's first quarter was the completion of two major acquisitions, Oak Street Health and Signify Health. 
These deals are part of CVS Health strategy to provide more integrated and personalized care to its customers, especially those with complex and chronic conditions. Oak Street Health is a network of primary care centers that serves Medicare-eligible seniors, mostly in underserved urban areas. CVS Health paid $9.8 billion for Oak Street Health, which operates more than 100 clinics across 15 states in Washington, D. By acquiring Oak Street Health, CVS Health gains access to a fast-growing segment of the population that needs high-quality and coordinated care. Signify Health is a provider of home health care and value-based payment solutions that works with health plans, providers, and government agencies. CVS Health paid $8.8 billion for Signify Health, which serves more than 10 million people annually in 43 states and Puerto Rico. By acquiring Signify Health, CVS Health expands its capabilities in delivering care at home and managing risk-based contracts. Together, these acquisitions allow CVS Health to offer a more comprehensive and holistic approach to health care, leveraging its existing assets such as Aetna Health Plans, Pharmacy Benefit Manager Business, and Retail Care Clinics. CVS Health expects these acquisitions to enhance its revenue growth, margin expansion, and cash flow generation in the long term.